Toast Crumble oh. Bagel? No, I haven't. Okay, it's so good it's actually illegal in four states. Um, this stuff, <laughs> these are the original bagels, just bagels from NYC, New York City. They are kettle boiled and, and every great city is known for a particular food that they do better than anybody else. If you go to Chicago, it's gonna be deep dish pizza. If you come here to Philadelphia, it's gonna be a cheesesteak. When you go to Brooklyn, it's the bagels. So we're bringing you the best of the best. I want you to see, first of all, how big these are. They're ginormous. They are the exact same bagels that people line up for down the block and around the corner. And you're getting 24 of them at a price tag of $1.74 per bagel. That's less than you would pay going to the bagel bakery. And these are going to arrive at that price, $1.74 a piece, at your front door. That price goes away at the end of the day. So does the four easy pay payments. This is a customer food choice award, and there will be a tough choice. You can either go 24 of the plane. When he says everything, it is. Everything, including the kitchen sink bagel, okay? But then, and we don't do this very often with our wonderful guest, Cliff Nordis, that we're gonna to talk to in a minute. This is a bagel that has a French toast crumble on the top. And anytime we do a sweeter bagel, they blow out of here. So let's bring in our guest. Mary Beth and I both welcome Cliff to the program. Cliff, how are you? He's broadcasting from New York, the only place bagels should ever come from. Oh, absolutely. I'm in the office right now. I'm not in a beautiful kitchen. I'm actually at work because, you know, we have to make bagels. We're shipping them out today for the show that we had on Sunday. And it's a beautiful day here in New York. And today, the French toast crumb, which is the sweets do so well on QVC. But you know what? I'd like to start off with what differentiates us, which is the five steps that we do uh, here in New York that you know not everybody's going to do. And it starts with the New York water from the Catskill Mountains, which you know we believe is the finest water for bagels. And then it's ingredients like malt and molasses and nothing artificial, no colors, flavors, none of that stuff, which really makes a tremendous difference. The big step is the aging process right there where we age the dough for 10 to 12 hours in a walk-in box, creating that crust and chew and shine. And then of course we boil it in the New York water, bake it at 500 degrees, Send it around the bakery oh. for a little while so it cools down. And perhaps the biggest step of all, we package them fresh and we ship them fresh. We only ship the day we bake. So today is Wednesday. We will be making all of these bagels Monday morning and shipping them out Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Dan, what do you think of that? Yeah, no preservatives. Uh, I, yep. I, I love picking. <laughs> on Cliff, the name of their company, their bakery is Just Bagels. And I'll go, so what else do you make? And he just goes, yeah. it's just bagels. Okay? Yeah. This, yeah. this is just amazing. It's a tough choice. I, yeah. I cannot help you on the choice. But you're going to get two dozen big four-ounce bagels. Uh, it is not fair to call this a plain bagel. Well, it's anything but plain, Dan. Yeah. When you put malt and molasses in there, and yeah. then you age it, and believe me, it's very difficult making bagels without the preservatives and without the dough conditioners and without all that stuff. It's the complete opposite of a supermarket bagel. It, you know, those bagels sit on your shelf for 30, 40 days. These do not, they come to you fresh. They're never frozen, they're always fresh, and what you have to do the second you get them home is you have to put them in the freezer and then just follow yep. the simple baking instructions. Thaw them out, bake them off, or microwave them and toast them, but it's the real deal. There's just nothing artificial in there, and it's totally different, and it has a really unbelievable flavor profile. An everything bagel takes all the good stuff, the sesame seeds from a sesame seed bagel, an onion from the onion bagel, the garlic from the garlic bagel, and then just puts all of it on there. And it's a <laughs> wonderfully distinctive flavor. But this one right here in the middle, which Mary Beth, you get to try, this is the French toast crumble. Oh my bagel. goodness, can you imagine that? That has French maple bits, French toast bits, a touch of vanilla, cinnamon, and if that's not enough, you know, then the malt and the molasses, if that's not enough, 
why don't you add a handmade topped crumb to really make it a very decadent dessert and you know our bagels are light. I know that looks like a heavy, heavy bagel. No. But the thing about our bagels with the ingredients that we use, you, you don't really get that bloating feeling. They're very light and, and just that's going to taste. That's going to smell the whole house up for sure. Did you try it, Mary Beth? It's so good. Yeah. So, so good. And here's See, have I ever fibbed to you before no, as far as you know? You've never. <laughs> Not that I know of. <laughs> hey, Cliff, I'll tell Hi, Mary you, Beth. it's so good to see you. I don't want to be without your bagels and i mean Thanks. that we always it's like as soon as i get down to the last bag i'm ordering more on qvc.com yeah. yep. and we try a lot of the different flavors i've never had one i didn't like but what i do want to tell everybody is a lot of times when you buy bagels in the store you throw them in like a bread drawer you can't yeah, no. throw these in no. a bread drawer they go back in the freezer there's no freezer. preservatives but yep. here's the difference you get the crunchiness on the outside you get this wonderful tender just chewy. soft and chewy on the inside it's the best and i'm telling you oh, i didn't even grow up knowing what a bagel was in minnesota we didn't have them right. that i remember but these are yeah, truly the best is not known for their their great bagels i will no. say as much Man, as i like love the way my she hometown says bagels you yeah. like the way she says bagels? <laughs> <laughs> that's like my that. minnesota that's what you have from minnesota i, I want to update everybody <laughs> Uh, if you want the plane, that's been very, very popular. There are now, how many? There's 950 sets that are left. If you want the, the combo, which is going to be 12 plane with the 12 everything, there's about 900. If you want where they come to you, 12 plane and then 12 of these amazing French toast crumb, there's 850. Today is the only day that we're going to be making these available at this price. I did the math, which was difficult. Cliff, these it's a dollar seventy four a bagel. Yeah, delivered. That that's amazing. Yes, delivered to yeah. somebody's front door. You know, it really is a good deal. And the French toast crumb, very rarely do you see this. I mean we've you know we've had the blueberry crumb and the cinnamon apple crumb, but the French toast crumb, this is a rare one to to, to air today. I think you're really gonna like it. And the everything bagel is always my favorite with the poppy sesame onion garlic and salt, uh, just the right percentages. And, you know, don't forget, they make great gifts. Always phenomenal gifts. People love getting bagels as get bagels. They love getting bagels, bagels. And <laughs> gifts, you know? I, I have two, I have. Norwegian yeah, he is. I and I am too. <laughs> I, I, I am, I am. <laughs> never, never pick on Mary Beth, she scares me. Uh, Cliff, <laughs> thank you so much for sharing thank you guys. your love, your passion. An absolutely amazing way to start your day. It's just bagels. Thank you, guys. Well, we're going to fill your freezer on the next one. Let me say this. Most veggie burgers, if you would call them that, I wouldn't want. But I've had these, and they are so good. You will not be able to tell the difference. And